What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the Byung Toys X21. Uh, this one is a double GPS unit with the Wi-Fi FPV and it has a 8 megapixel 1080p 30 frames per second full HD camera. Uh, it has a couple more functions than the previous models. They're calling this one the X21 and it comes in black. But we all know it is the next up version from the X16. Uh, this one has point of interest and follow me mode added to the mix. And it is also the brushless motor as well. So let's go ahead and open this box up and check this baby out. Okay, so... I've already opened it up and checked it out and took some photos and videos to make sure everything is working but I put everything back in so I can show you how this thing is packed and delivered oh what is this uh, looks like a little gimbal thingy there uh, that fell off anyway let me go ahead and take everything out Okay, somehow this little piece came off of the, the security little thing for the gimbal. And it is not staying on there, guys. So I'm going to have to kind of push this baby in. And now, nah, you know what? It just broke off. <laughs> okay, that's the first thing that broke off. Okay, so here is the quadcopter. All right, I haven't put the props on yet, but I did check out the camera and uh, it has the same exact mount as the X16. Now, taking a look at the quadcopter, man, it is coated with this black, uh, nice, smooth finish. You know, those uh, uh, like uh, cell phone finish, those kind of rubbery texture finish uh, where it uh, uh, prevents uh, fingerprints from going on so you can do all kinds of stuff and it stays nice and black so that's really nice of them to do so but what I found was uh, the camera was mounted in the traditional mount of the X16 okay so this is X21 it has the same exact mount so it's far back and right in the center of the quadcopter and I took some photos and videos just to check it out and notice that it was far back here and this thing has a wide angle lens so it was catching the landing legs both side of the landing legs so that was very uh, undesirable in my part so what I did was I just released it out just press this button move it out and take it off and I just velcroed it uh, right on here the anti vibration mount like I always do with my gimbals and moved it forward as well as moved it to the right just a little bit so the camera is situated more in the center of the quadcopter because it was still catching a part of this leg when i moved it all the way out so i moved it all the way out and moved it a little bit this way now i am free of the legs but i'm pretty sure maybe it will catch the the props in the view but that can't be helped uh, if I angle it down it will catch the bottom of the landing legs so I got it kind of facing straight okay that's one of the things that I've done at home and I did test it out and it does work everything functions correctly just like the x16 uh, the remote control is the same thing here's the remote control and uh, it is coated in that black velvety finish as well it is <clears throat> the same remote control as the x16 but now these two buttons down here the follow me mode and the point of interest is not work is now uh, functional the one on the bottom, the third one down, that is the follow me. And the one on the bottom of that is called the surround me. So that's the point of interest. So let's go over the remote control real quick. This button up here is the speed changing button. And this button on the right upper right shoulder is the, I believe it's the one key to take off and one key to land. It just says uh, long press it for one key to land. But we'll check that out, okay? These are all trim buttons here, okay? On and off switch right here. There's a, a bunch of 
buttons on this side here that we are accustomed to. The one right in the middle is the return to home. So that is the GPS return to home. The one above it, if you press it up, it'll take a photo. The one below it, it'll take a video. But the photo and video does not work on this baby here because it is just a Wi-Fi camera unit. The one on the right is the headless mode and the one to the left of it, this one here, turns the GPS on and off, okay? Now, there's a variety of uh, things that you need to do to calibrate. We'll go over that in a minute. But you can arm the motors by bolt sticks to the bottom and in and disarm it as well. And bolt sticks to the bottom and out will arm and disarm, okay? Now, in order for us to do a compass calibration, uh, the throttle stick needs to be on the bottom to the left and the pitch stick needs to be on the right and to the top and then we can go ahead and do the uh, calibration of the compass now if you want to uh, set the gyros to calibrate the gyros now the throttle stick needs to be on the left upper hand position and the pitch stick needs to be on the right bottom position and hold it there for a few seconds and it will calibrate the gyros okay so that is the transmitter and this baby here is a two-way transmitter so on the lcd monitor you are able to check out the speed the height the distance that is fantastic it also shows the value of the transmitter battery and the quadcopter's battery and the signal strength and the amount of gps that you have acquired as well as well as to indicate whether you got gps on with this button here and off all right so that is a look at the remote control now let's take a look at the quadcopter a little bit closer as you can see it is the identical uh version or identical quadcopter as the x16 that we come to love but only in black okay and what they did provide us with is some slightly bigger landing legs a little bit more taller landing legs to support the camera so that is fantastic now the video transmitted via the wi-fi fpv feed is a 720p 60 frames per second transmission so it is a very clear transmission okay so i'm pretty sure it will be recording it in that transmission okay now it also comes with a micro sd card slot on the side as you can see here i tried testing it out at home and i tried all kinds of different ways to record but it will not record on the micro sd card it will record photos but my unit for some reason it will not record videos but it will record videos with the wi-fi phone app okay so that is something else now as you can see um, there's a power cable going to the camera and it only has a black and a red uh, wire so it this is not a signal wire so this is just to power up the camera itself so the only way to take photos and videos is via the wi-fi phone app okay so that's why the uh, photo and video button on the remote control will not function on this quadcopter Okay. Now, it also has a bunch of features like the headless mode. So we are de dealt with the GPS unit once again, just like the X16 GPS. So it has the fail-safe return, one key to return, and it also has low voltage return. Okay. So, and it also has this geofencing as well. Now, the geofencing is a 30-meter uh, geofencing functionality when the battery gets down to about 30 percent it will not go beyond 30 meters uh, in altitude or in distance so you are uh, domed in so it won't it will not travel beyond that dome as i demonstrated with the x16 gps if you haven't seen that go and check that out i'll leave a link down below and when the battery comes to about 10% what this baby will do is it will land itself automatically okay so that is the low voltage uh, return to home okay so hopefully that all works with this unit as well now we are given a 11.1 volt 
2200 milliamp size battery uh, this is the same battery that comes with the x16 as well so if you already have the x16 you got some spare batteries for this baby here now this thing's supposed to give you the same amount of flight time as the x16 which is 16 to 18 minutes and this one also says it has a control distance of around 400 to 400 50 meters which I've also demonstrated with the x16 GPS module uh, unit that is uh, so if you haven't seen that again the link is down below so it has very good distance good enough anyway to fly around okay so it has a double GPS module and the accuracy of its GPS home point is 0 0.5 to 1 meter accuracy. As we have seen with the X16, it has excellent, excellent uh, relocating and landing to the uh, home point. So very close, not even maybe two quadcopter distances away. So we're going to check that out as well with this baby here. Now, I was expecting a gimbal unit but uh this unit that i got it does not come with a gimbal it just comes with a mount and the camera so you are able to manually uh, screw and rotate it to the angle that you want that is about the only thing that you can do with this uh anti-vibration mount just like any other uh, camera mount that comes with quadcopters like the bugs three and such other quadcopters like that okay so that is just about it for the quadcopter now what we're going to do is uh, turn this baby on I'm going to go ahead and install the props first and then we're gonna check out uh, the return to home functions and the one key to return, the low voltage return and all that and see if all of those functions work. So let's go and check that out. Okay, so we are in the process of installing the props and the silver nuts unloosen counterclockwise and tighten clockwise and the black nuts unloosen clockwise and they tighten counterclockwise okay so we got the props over here they give you two sets of these props as well so you want to face the quadcopter uh, facing away from you and this one here spins counterclockwise so you need to find another one that spins counterclockwise and put it on this corner and these babies spin clockwise so we're going to put those over here and this one is a clockwise unit as well and looks like we need to snap it in place here push it down there you go you need to find that groove and then push it all down the wind is starting to pick up as well too so but this quadcopter probably can handle a good amount of wind okay so the silver nuts go on the left the bottom and right front or right top and the black nuts go on the right bottom or the right rear and the left front okay and they also give you this bag of tools here we got an allen wrench a screwdriver and a little bar okay I'm pretty sure this little bar is to tighten up these little nuts here you can put it in it's got a little hole so you want to go clockwise to tighten the silver nuts and counterclockwise to tighten up the black nuts okay okay so clockwise here and then counterclockwise on the black all right so we are done setting up the props and we are ready to go rock and roll now the remote control <clears throat> this is a Wi-Fi unit. It comes with a Wi-Fi phone clip, spring-loaded, and you just push this baby in. And as we have seen before, uh, the remote control comes with this uh, little antenna cover. Uh, hey, look at that. The antenna is sticking out. So we are able to push the antenna in. Hello. Okay, you got to be careful because you're gonna to have to push the antenna in to the remote control in order for you to hook 
this baby up here okay now this thing is angled and you can adjust the angle by snapping it there's no screws involved it just stays in place once you've got it going okay so we're just going to leave it like that i'm going to put my phone on it so we can take some photos and videos so let's go ahead and check this baby out okay so we got everything ready to go on the table i got my phone already hooked up to the phone clip and it's holding pretty good so that's nice all right so we're gonna go ahead and put the battery in let me put the battery in this way so it's easier to connect the wires okay let's go ahead and power this baby on Oops, this way all right i'm gonna have to shove the wires in and then close the hatch all right i believe we are powered on there's an on and off switch right here you power it on so let me go ahead and turn it off um when the battery is plugged in the x16s and the this one is the x21 same thing um it beeps to let you know that the battery is still plugged in okay safety feature which is nice so i'm gonna go ahead and turn on the power and leave it right here and then turn on the remote and hold the throttle all the way to the bottom okay now the lights are blinking a little bit slower all right so we are connected okay so that's all you need to do uh you don't need to do throttle up and down okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to wait until we acquire seven gps we need to get gps locked first before we can do anything else so we're going to wait this takes a few seconds sometimes and this takes a little bit sometimes so it's a beautiful day here once again very limited amount of clouds the wind however did pick up a little bit earlier now it kind of calmed down and check that out just when you check the weather uh, we got a gps lock so solid green lights means gps lock so the next step is to calibrate the accelerometer and we're gonna have to do that yeah calibration dance so you're gonna do the um, throttle stick to the left and to the bottom and the pitch to the right and to the top and then hold it and the lights start blinking real rapidly like so okay now what we're gonna do is rotate the quadcopter horizontally 360 degrees three times okay and we're going to go looping it forward rotate it three times as well okay and after that we're going to roll the quadcopter three times two and three times and then we should have solid green lights once again so now we have uh, uh, cal successfully calibrated the accelerometer or the compass I'm sorry not the accelerometer now what we're gonna do is calibrate the gyros and the accelerometer so the throttle stick to the up to the left position and the pitch to the bottom and to the right position and hold it there for a few seconds and the light starts to blink and it goes solid now the gyros have been calibrated too okay so that is fantastic now we're gonna open up the phone and go to the settings go to the Wi-Fi and we are getting connected to the yd um, wi-fi network and we're connected so that is great and the app that you want to download is called the it is called the wd pilot slash fyd app in the app store it is a free download in the app store so you can check that i have my sunglasses on and i can't see with my sunglasses on on the phone okay so we are good to go we're going to start up the app and that is how the app looks like it's got an airplane with blue skies and then you're going to hit play and check that out we got connection we got wi-fi fpv but check out how clear it is it's super clear guys 
very very nice okay so we got all kinds of functions too you can probably fly this x21 with the wi-fi phone app too and we'll do that another day <laughs> but we're not interested in that we're just gonna demonstrate the gps functionalities and stuff like that with the hard remote today okay but we are going to take a photo and it says i took a photo there you go and a phone icon appeared if you can see that so let's go ahead and take the phone off the clip here lift it up and face it forward as you can see i don't have any landing legs in my view photo there photo there photo there photo there and one more photo there so we have taken some photos Okay, I'm going to hit that video icon and the phone icon appeared and it stays on and there's a red counter on the bottom to let me know that I am taking a video. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take off for the very first time. This will be my maiden flight because I haven't uh, tested it out. I did run it but without the props in the house to make sure it works. Now that we have the props on, we are good to go. So make sure you got the props on correctly this way and that way. All right, so what we're gonna do is arm the motors by bolt sticks to the bottom and in. There we go, arm the motors. One more time and it disarms the motors. Bolt sticks to the bottom and out, arms the motors. Huh, there's a little hesitation arming the motors. Okay, both sticks to the bottom and out. This arms the motor. Let me try that again. See that left motor kind of took its time starting up. Okay. Alright, so this is the one kilo takeoff and one kilo land. Let's see if it takes off with the motors running. Stand back a little bit just in case. There you go. One kilo takeoff works. And that is the hover. The default hover altitude and check that out since we have GPS we also have barometric pressure altitude hold as well so check that out man it is just hovering in that one spot it hasn't moved let me push it forward just a little bit to get out nice okay let me lower it down just a little bit nice check that out guys the X21 awesome looking in all black okay let's test out its location let's go ahead and pull it away oh, looks, it's getting angry let go and check that out it went back to the location that I pulled it from awesome all right okay so let's go and lift it up a little bit and what we're going to test out is just a one kilo land. This is just a one kilo land. It is not returned to home. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit. Oops, got a long press it. Okay, one kilo land. And I'm directing it with my pitch. And hopefully I get it right on the... Oh, I kind of rolled it to the left just as it hit the ground. And I flipped it over oh well okay so now we know that the one key to land works okay so let's go ahead and rearm the motors okay now i have armed the motors at that spot on top of the landing pad that is the new home point before this was the new uh, before this was the home point now that is the new home point so we're gonna see if the one key to return works by re-landing on this spot here Long press it and one key to take off. Okay, so let's let's go up and forward just a little bit, not too far, and let's hit this one key to return button. Let's see what happens. Oh, it beeps. And it rolls up in altitude just a little bit. And it came back really quick. And let's see how close. 
It's coming down pretty fast too. Oh, it slowed down. Check it out. Nice landing. Better landing than how I landed manually. All right, check that out, man. It landed in the same dang spot. Awesome. Okay, so hitting that button one more time. We are out of the return to home function. Now, this is the new recorded home point once again because I'm going to take off from this spot. Okay, so let's go ahead and arm it. And we are still taking a video as seen on the uh, phone here. So let's go ahead and take off manually by pressing the throttle stick up. And that is fantastic. Not bad. Okay, the Wi-Fi distance is set to be 250 to 300 meters. That is a whopping Wi-Fi FPV distance. So this baby here is utilizing the 5 G transmission for the Wi-Fi signal. So that's why we're gonna have some nice FPV. So let me stand in the shade. We got altitude hole, we got GPS. So let's go for a little FPV flight. Okay, going forward. I can see that there is a little bit of jello. Okay, turning to the left. Okay. Coming back to the road. Okay, I think I overshot. Okay, let me bring it back this way. Okay, I see myself in the view. It's a little bit laggy, guys. It's not the second to second or up to the second FPV here. Okay, it's coming towards me and it is going above and passing by me i'm gonna turn around okay oh it is in a spin i let go of the yaw but it continued to spin so we have a slight delay in the controls here on this one the x16 altitude hold with the Wi-Fi unit had a tiny little Wi-Fi FPV camera and that one worked out fantastic but this one has a little bit of lag even though because I guess it is transmitting the image in a high resolution so you are able to take good videos and photos but the Wi-Fi FPV uh, functionality is kind of um, diminished yeah so there we go we got gps and that is how it is flying in speed number one okay let's go to speed number two okay all right there's a little bit more pitch and a little bit more wobble <laughs> the gps wobble okay so that's how it flies with the gps on so it is always wobbling as you're turning so you're going to see that the video is wavy back and forth, kind of like you're drunk. <laughs> okay, that is how it flies with the GPS on. Now let's check out the GPS off. I'm going to hit this button here. Now I turned off the GPS. As you can see, there's no hold. It is just drifting by itself because of the wind. Okay, so we should have a little bit smoother flying with the GPS off, as you can see there. Yeah, it's making nicer, smoother turns now. So you can fly it in this manner without the GPS on. And the X16 GPS did the same thing. And what happens is when you hit the one key to return, not uh, the return to home, the smart return to home button or whatever it's called, return to home, uh, it will automatically uh, go back into the GPS mode. So right now I am not in GPS mode. I just have altitude hold. Okay. So check this out. I'm right over here. I'm flying around without GPS. Okay. So what's going to happen is I'm just drifting. And if I hit this one key to return, the return to home, it'll activate its GPS. Now it has GPS on. 
just as if I press this button here. Okay, comes back to the home point right above it, checks itself out to make sure it is on top and it is making its way down. Nice. Let's see how close it gets to the pad. Oh, it's blowing the pad away a little bit. Look at that. It missed it by about one quad cup of distance. So very nice. So I'm going to turn off the one key to return or return to home. So that is fantastic. So you can fly around with out the GPS just in headless mode and when you hit that one key to return it will return to you all right so that is fantastic so like I said there is the uh, display over here the voltage of the uh, remote control voltage of the quadcopter the GPS how many GPS you got locked in and also the distance and the height and the uh, speed and all that uh, recorded right over here okay that is not some of them is not showing because it's sitting on the ground all right so that is the x21 so far so let's check out what happens if we turn off the remote control shall we all right so let's arm it this will be called a fail safe return to home okay so we already demonstrated the one key return return to home so we're gonna keep it right there all right we're gonna turn on the GPS so we got GPS lock positioning so it is not uh, traveling or uh, drifting so now let's turn off the remote control let's check that out it should take a little while but check that out it's rising up in altitude just a little bit just like before and it came right above the takeoff pad and it is landing itself so fail safe or return to home is perfectly working but it's this time it's going to miss the pad by maybe about a couple of quadcopters away man it lands itself really nicely though right okay the x16 gps as soon as i turned on the remote control it took off as i recall okay so let's see if that happens okay i'm going to put it back right here so the home point is on the, the landing pad once again. So let's check it out. Nope, not on this one. It's just staying still. Okay, so that is good. <laughs> you don't want accidental lift off when you turn the remote control back on. So there you go. Nope, nothing is happening. All right. So let's go ahead and rearm. This thing has a long flight time, guys. 16 to 18 minutes and I'm still taking a video awesome isn't it okay so let's go ahead and take off one more time and we still got solid lights okay so that is just fantastic man so let's go send it up and let's just cruise right there we'll do a slow pan Okay, let's just cruise. Okay, speed number one. So we'll take some smooth videos. All right, I still see that the lights are solid, guys. Let's bring it down in altitude a little bit. Yeah, the lights are still solid. This thing has a very nice flight time. Okay, what's going on? It is doing a return to home. Uh, guess what, guys? The lights are blinking. 
but check it out. Is it going to come down? No, it is not coming down. It is not landing. Guess what, guys? That is the initial stage of the LVC in which the light starts to flash. That means we have 30% of battery life left. Okay, so now we are in the geofencing mode. So let's go push it out. We should have a geofence. It should bounce off at 30 meters. <laughs> yup. I can't push it anymore. And it's making its way back. Check that out. That is the geofencing functionality of the Bayang Toys X21. Just like the X16. Push it out this way. I'm pushing it forward. And look at that, I can't go any further. And it's coming back. That is the geofencing for you, man. Nice, huh? Let's check it out this way. Okay, let's send it out this way. See if that works. There you go. It bounces off a geofence and it makes its way back. Okay, not right on top of the landing pad it's just bringing itself back all right so there you go man the geofencing works on this baby as well all right and the lights are still flashing so this functionality kicks in at 30 percent of battery life okay now there is a low voltage return to home that is the functionality that we're going to test next is 10% of battery life and it will initiate a return to home. It is doing it right now guys. As you saw it just rose up in altitude and it is right on top of the landing pad. Nice. So this is the low voltage return to home. Nice. And looks like it's going to make it right on top just about. Man, it lands itself really nice. Okay, so all of the functionalities work on this baby as well. The Bayang Toys X21, double GPS, guys. Let me go ahead and stop the recording. And we have saved that into the phone app. So let's bring this baby back. Bring this baby back. And let's go ahead and turn everything off. Okay, turning it off. Okay, turning the phone app off. I don't need it. Turning the remote control off. And it's still beeping. Giving you a warning that you need to unplug the battery as well. To finalize, okay? You don't want to leave the battery connected. So, turning, disconnecting the battery. Now, the sound has disappeared. Now, you are done. All right. We got everything reconnected. I got the phone app started and it is recording already. We set the GPS. We did the compass calibration. We did the gyro calibration and the whole nine yards. So we are ready to go. I'm using a battery that came with the X16. One of the X16s anyway. Same battery. So I got a lot of spare batteries guys. So we're going to go and check out the headless mode on this uh, little flight test as well as follow me and point of interest or surround me okay so let's go and check that out i got the video recording already so let's go and check this baby out arming it one key to take off that is so awesome okay go forward a little bit we got gps a little bit forward let's go down in altitude just a little bit the GPS rocking and rolling over there. Okay, so I'm going to get out of the GPS. Hitting that button and it is starting to drift. But I'm going to hit this button here. Headless mode. Okay, check that out. Okay, coming back. Uh-oh. The headless mode bearing is a little off, guys. Okay, no, well, it's not that bad actually. Okay, pushing it forward. Nope, nope, the headless mode is kind of off. Yeah, I'm bringing it back towards me. Yeah, that's working. Going to the right, that's working. Let me lift it up a little bit. But it's facing away from me, right? 
Okay, let me face it towards me and push it forward. Nope. Even though it's beeping away, the headless mode functionality is not quite working. It's still flying in the regular mode. Okay, let me push that button again. There, I'm out of the headless mode and it does not make a difference. So the headless mode functionality is not working on this one here. Let me try that again. Okay, going forward and turning it around, facing me, going forward. See, it's coming back towards me. It's flying in regular mode. So they somehow disabled the headless mode functionality on the X21. Or maybe it's just my unit. Okay, so I'm going to get out of the headless mode. Huh, that is kind of strange, isn't it? Let me go ahead and hit GPS lock and then do my headless mode. Nope. Same thing. I'm flying in regular mode. Okay. Okay. Now let's see. This thing's supposed to have a follow me mode. So I'm wondering if that works. Okay. The camera is pointing at me here. Let me bring it down just a little bit. So it's kind of pointing at me here. And yeah, I can see myself in the video feed here. So uh, follow me. Okay, it is in the follow me mode. And let me walk this way. Yep, it is following me. A little bit delayed reaction, but it is following me. Nice! Check that out. It's following. Yep, I'm walking away. Okay, let me go straight. Yep, it is doing a forward follow me as well. Nice! Not bad, not bad. All right, the soda follow me works. Kind of wobbly. Hopefully, I'm getting videos of this. Okay, so let's get out of the follow me by hitting that button one more time. And now, surround me. Oh, check that out. It is doing a roundabout by itself. Surround me. Or they call it point of interest. Fantastic. So it does the surround me and the follow me at the distance that you have set. And then when you hit that button, it will stay in that radius. How awesome is that? Absolutely fantastic feature. So you guys can all gather around and, you know, <laughs> uh, at the tip of a peninsula or something and do a follow me or a stranded on a little piece of a rock in the middle of the ocean and do a follow me <laughs> or surround me rather <laughs> that would be uh, pretty cool i'm in the middle of the desert yeah and it's doing a fantastic follow me and it is continuing to do so okay all right so i'm gonna hit that surround me button on the bottom and it has stopped i didn't hear any beep it's kind of a weak it stopped okay now i hit it and it stopped, but it stopped by itself, kind of. Let me hit it again. Hey, what's up? It doesn't want to work now. That is funny. Okay, let me hit it again. No, it's not working. No, it's not working anymore. It just worked once. Let me go ahead and move it around. He said, ah, I did it already. Why do you want me to do it again? Okay, so I'm right here. And I'm going to hit that follow me. Okay. All right, so hopefully it's following me. Yeah, it's following me. Following me works. Yep, it's moving around. I can see that it's kind of making its way this way. Okay, so let me get out of the follow me. Okay, and it's hovering. Now, point of interest. Now, all of a sudden, my point of interest is not working. What do I need to 
direct its path. Yeah, my point of interest is not working all of a sudden, guys. So that is kind of funky. Yeah, I got the uh, Wi-Fi video. No problem with that. So let me hold it. No, it's not working. Okay, let me hit that follow me button one more time. Let's see if that's still working. Yeah, the follow me is still working. What is going on? Yeah, follow me is still working. Okay, let me hit that button while it's following me. Whoa. Oh, you know what? The lights are flashing. And I think it has activated a return to home. Uh-oh. Yep. Let me go ahead and just leave it alone so it lands itself. Okay, I think uh, I have expired the battery. And that is the reason why the surround me or the point of interest stopped working okay so i don't blame you okay you still work so that's what happens to the surround me function uh, when the battery gets low it stops uh functioning but the follow me was still kind of working as you saw there okay so there you have it guys the surround me the follow me and the non-working headless mode of the Bayang Toys X21 double GPS. Stop the video. Turn this baby off. Turn the remote control off. Oh, check that out. I got a delayed reaction on my Wi Fi feed and it is beeping. So we will disconnect. All right.